I think people's perception is very different to the reality of what physics is. When someone says the word physicist, you don't really think of a young 20-year-old Brit Asian woman. Like, that's not what comes to mind. It's always like a more older white man. That's what most people think of. That's what I would think of personally. I'm Celine Dinsey. I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Liverpool and I'm a physicist. I'm looking at the modelling of DNA damage for the clinical side of it. If they can know that certain treatments are causing more damage to cancerous cells, we can know that they're more preferential to using cancer treatment. What I like most about my project that I'm doing in the field that it's within is that it's applied. I think if I can do something where I can see an application, how it's used, that's more, that's more driving for me. I like seeing that process of doing something and carrying out and then seeing its kind of outcome. So my grandparents are from the Punjab in Northern India and they both didn't go to school. As a comparison there, like just two generations ago, they didn't go to school, didn't receive any kind of formal education, whereas now on, I'm studying a PhD. I think the gravity of that's quite large. As far back as primary school, I always knew maths was my favourite subject. Um, didn't actually do GCSE physics at high school because it wasn't offered. And that's something that surprises a lot of people just because I'm doing a PhD now. I wasn't sure about what I wanted to do. I didn't have a clear club plan and it did panic me at the time. And it was like, why don't I have a plan? Why don't I know what I want to do? At one point, I actually totally ruled out doing a PhD because I wasn't seeing projects that were interesting me and I started looking at jobs. But then following that, I kind of heard about the kind of project that I'm on now. So it was kind of drawing in things that I've always been interested in, but didn't know that's what I wanted to do until it was there in front of me. And I was like, that sounds good. It means a lot that I'm able to have the opportunity to even pursue a PhD because I know a lot of people would dream of doing something like this but they're not in the position to have the opportunity to do it. I think diversity in physics is very important just so we can get a draw of people coming into the field that are from different walks of life, different social classes, different upbringings, different cultures because you're going to bring in something different, have a different viewpoint take the field off in a different direction that it hadn't been for so many years. The field will obviously drive off that and it will, you know, progress further.